Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the Voodoo Room, Ralph Armstrong. I want my money back. (laughs) (laughs) By the way, I'm glad we're doing this. I am writing a book on Aretha Franklin. Let me tell you something else about Aretha. A lot of people don't know. Aretha had a heavy, besides gospel, jazz background. Mm. She could tell you what to play. They got no water, they got no electricity, they got nothing, you know? Uh, I live in Detroit where we got water right there. There's enough water to drown half of Europe. Wow. Same thing every day. Even a day's off, Frank would, we're going to dinner. We would go to dinner. We'd be up in Nova Scotia someday. Well, you talking about cold way up there <laughs> in Canada. And he's like, we're going to dinner. I'm like, I'm sick of looking at you cats, man. He just loved the idea that I played a fretless bass. Mm-hmm. And he said, I'm going to call you to play. I'm going to call you to play. And I said, I got a BS. He ain't going to call this black kid from Detroit. I wasn't more than 17, you know. Mm-hmm. And he called me and he said, Ralph, this is John McLaughlin. I almost needed the pens. I don't know if you know what they are. They're like diapers. Okay. For men. Right. And if you're old, okay, we don't go into that. It's a nasty <laughs> detail. So, boy, I don't know what being bored is. What is bored? I have a book. I'm writing a book. I got, I got like 36 bases in this room. Yeah. You know, I'm not bored. I got stuff to do. And guess what? 10 years from now, I'm giving it all this stuff. Because I have to do maintenance on it, man. It's like work, you know. <laughs>